Hi friends, this is Arujan here. Welcome to my networking channel. And today let us discuss about VGP weight attribute. So always the highest weight is preferred, which is used to prefer the outbound path. So weight is always exchanged within the internal neighbors, not between the EBGB neighbors. It is exchanged to the internal neighbors and used to prefer the outbound path. And the value ranges from 0 to 65535. So weight is a Cisco proprietary attribute. So here is the configuration where I connected R1, R2 and R3. So R1 has established an EBGB neighbor relationship with R2 and R1 has established an EBGB neighbor relationship with R3 since both are in the different autonomous system number value and R2 has established an IBGB relationship with R3 and R2 has established an EBGB neighbor relationship with R1. So this is a configuration. First let us configure the BGB neighbor relationship and the next thing will let us advertise the prefix on all the routers and third thing I am going to configure the BGP weight attribute. So let us go one by one. Let us go to the configuration R1 and let us configure the routing protocol BGP, right? Router BGP autonomous system number is 1 and the neighbor is 192.12.2 and 13.2, right? Two EBGB neighbor. So neighbor is 192.168.12.2 and the remote autonomous system number is 2, right? EBGB neighbor. Similarly, 13.2. Two EBG neighbor it has 13.2. So let us configure the neighbor. So this I configure the neighbor for R1. Similarly, we'll configure for R2. So it has two neighbors. One is EBGB neighbor 23.2 and 12.1. So neighbor is router BGP2 and the neighbor is 192.168.23.2 and the remote autonomous system member is 2, right? Same autonomous system IBGB neighbor and the EBG neighbor is 12.1. 12.1 and the autonomous system number is 1, right? So we have configured the BGB neighbor for R2. Similarly, we will configure the BG neighbor for R3. So router BGB2 and it has two BGB neighbors. One is an IBGB neighbor that is 23.1. So neighbor is 192.168.23.1 and the remote autonomous number is 2. Similarly, EBGB neighbor is 13.1, right? 13.1. So the EBGB that is a EBGB neighbor, right? 13.1 and the auto numbers now number is 1 right so 1 so I configure the BGB neighbor relationship on R1 R2 and R3 let us see the neighbor is coming up for R1 R2 and R3 so that's the first and foremost thing we need to check the neighbor relationship so first it always establish the neighbor relationship then it will advertise the prefixes between the routers right so now let us check the neighbor relationship show IP BGP all summary yeah, it is coming up. Neighbor is coming up. So we are able to see now two neighbors. One is EBGB neighbor and another one is EBG neighbor for R1. Similarly, R2 has one IBGB neighbor and EBGB neighbor, right? So this is also coming up. Similarly, R3. So it is show IP BGP all summary, right? So it is one IBGB neighbor and one EBGB neighbor. So we have configured the BGB neighbor relationship. And the next thing I am going to advertise the prefixes right so prefixes is here is 1.1.1 and this is 2.2.2 and this is 3.3.3 so now let us going to advertise the prefixes and r1 let us advertise the prefixes configuration mode router bgp1 and the network prefix is 1.1.1.0 and the mask is 25.25.25.0 Similarly, for R2, I'm going to advertise the prefix 2.2.2. So this is 2.2.2 and this 3.3.3. So R2, go to the configuration mode and the router BGP. So this is two. This is a one, right? So this will be two. And the network prefix is 2.2.2.0 and the mask is 25.25.25.0. And similarly, R3 will be Go to the configuration mode router BGP2 and the network prefix is 3.3.3.0 and the mask is 25.25.25.0. Right? So here it will be always 2.2. Let us change it. Right? 2.2.2 and this is prefix is 3.3.3. 3.3.3. Right? So I have done that. So now let us check the routing table that is IP BGP. So let us check the routing table. You are able to see the routes, right? So from R3 network, the, so from R2 and R3, I am able to see the prefix. So let us check from R1. We are able to see the prefix show IP BGP. 
Yeah, we are able to see the prefix 1.1.1 and 2.2. So this is a 1.1 network. I am able to see 2.2 prefix and 3.3. So 2.2 it is taking 12.2 as a preferred path and 3.3 network it is taking 13.2 as a preferred path. So what I am going to do, I am just going to influence the outbound path. So weight is always prefers the outbound path. So what I can do, I am going to set the attributes. So first I will configure the neighbor relationship and next thing I will advertise the prefix and third thing I am going to advertise the third thing I am going to configure the BGP attribute that is the weight attribute right. So go to R1, go to router BGP1 right router bgp1 and go to neighbor statement so neighbor statement is 13.2 so this okay let us configure in 12.2 so what we can do 12.2 we will set the root map statement root map and the attribute value let us make it as set weight and it is in inbound path it is shared within the internal bgp neighbor so i make it as in inbound so now I have to configure the route map statement individually. So route map statement set weight, same thing, right? Set weight and the permit statement followed by the sequence number and set weight attribute. Let us make it as 800. So now what it will do always prefer the highest path, right? So what it will do this path I make it as the highest path that is 800. So I'll always take this path as a preferred path for reaching this 2.2 network or 3.3 network. Since it is an outbound path, I have to see from this router. So now let us see the routing table. Show IP BGP whether it is. So still we are not able to see this attribute value 800. So what let us do is short reset, right? Clear IP BGP and 12.2, 192.168.12.2 .2, and 12 .2, short reset in similarly 13.2. So you have done the soft reset of the neighbor. So now let us see the BGP routing table. See now we are able to see the attribute value right. I have changed the attribute value is 800. So now we are able to see the 800 attribute. So this path it will take as a preferred path because weight always the highest weight is preferred right. Highest weight value is preferred. So the default weight attribute is 0 right. So always taking for 2.2 .2 network from 1.1 uh, this uh, prefix for reaching either 2.2 .2 network or 3.3 .3 network it is taking which path 12.2 .2 as a preferred path because this attribute I set it as 800 so for it always prefers the outbound path for R1 for reaching R2 or R3 network it is taking 12.2 .2 as a nest stop interface so always keep it in mind star and the greater than symbol always should be star is a valid route and greater than symbol is a best route so always only then it will be pushed the route into the best routing table so always routing table should be contain star and the greater than should both contain both the valid and the best route right so for 1.1 .1 prefix from r1 network for reaching 2.2 .2 or 3.3 .3, it is taking 12.2 .2 as a preferred path right 12.2 .2 as a preferred path because of the highest weight attribute 800 similarly for reaching 3.3 .3 network it is taking 12.2 .2 as a next stop interface so this path it is taking as a preferred path so this is how the weight attribute works so weight is not exchanged between the bgp routers in routers instead it is always exchanged within a bgp neighbor and it is a cisco preparatory and it is used to influence the outbound path i hope you understood thanks for watching please subscribe me for more videos thank you have a wonderful day thank you